Hi guys, and welcome back to Kelly All Day. Thanks so much for stopping in. So in today's video, we are finally tackling one of my bathrooms, and I was so excited to do this. There's nothing really wrong with the bathroom. It's just kind of like, it's a bathroom. It's kind of, huh? And I wanted to make it like a, oh, this is bright. Like, I see you, bathroom. You know, kind of deal if we could. And I figured that we could do it very inexpensive just by changing out like some of the hardware, the light fixtures, getting rid of that gap khaki color, and just making it a little more brighter on a budget. So that's exactly what we did. And y'all, it came out so very cute. Wait till you see it. So here you see the bathrooms all taped up, getting ready for paint. We knew that that was the first thing that we were gonna do. And I feel like painting is so easy to do. Not that painting is fun, don't know. It is completely not enjoyable <laughs> for me anyway, but it's a quick and easy, inexpensive way to really freshen up your space. The plan is to paint to make a frame for the mirror, change out the light fixtures, and change out and spray paint some of the hardware if we could. So this is what we're doing right now. Although this was not a very difficult project, guys, we literally started this in the summer. I know, right? We started it in the summer. We were trying to get it done before guests came. We did half of it, but we kept coming back to it and doing a little more and a little more and a little more, but it finally got done. So you will see us start this in the summer and we finish it right before Christmas. <laughs> But the most important thing is that we get it done, right? Hashtag real life. Sometimes these projects take a while and that's okay too. Let's talk about Christmas. And why is it less than two weeks away? Every year I get so surprised because it just seems like it flies so very quickly and it's like here already. I know. Are you guys ready? Do you still have shopping to do? Comment down below and let me know what's going on with your shopping and your decorating. like 95% done getting ready for Christmas. I will be putting out my Christmas home tour sometime this week. And if I can manage to squeeze in a last minute gift video, I am going to try to do that as well. changing the faucet is one of those huge things too you wouldn't think that changing it would be such a big deal but it definitely like elevates and updates the space instantly look at it it's not even completely in yet and it already looks so much better Shout out to my husband and to the girls because they really did an awesome job helping and they really did the bulk of the work for the bathroom. I came in and did like the little decorating and the little touches at the end, but they did the, the big work. While they were working on this uh, bathroom video, I was working on the guest room refresh video. If you have not seen that one and you're having guests soon, definitely check that one out. I will link it in the description box as well. We found this set at Home Depot for $29.99. Yes, 
$29.99. It was on clearance. It was during the summertime, but we, we grabbed it so quick and we were like, oh, the light, the bar, the toilet paper holder, all of this for $29.99. And we were like, you know what? We are definitely gonna make this work. So y'all, please don't skip out on your clearance sections in Lowe's and Home Depot because you will definitely find some stuff. You just gotta keep looking. Speaking of Lowe's and Home Depot clearance, I found an inflatable at Home Depot for 50% off and then went into Lowe's and they were already clearancing their stuff as well. I will pop up a couple of pictures of some Disney finds that I found there. So definitely check them out because they're already starting to clearance stuff and that was as of like two days ago. Yes, it is looking better already. I told you a little bit of paint and a light. See? Wow. It doesn't take much to make me happy. This shelf is a find that I already had in the house laying around. I had purchased it and never used it. And I decided, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and put it up here because I feel like it would work. And also this shower rod. We got the one that is kind of curved or bowed. Y'all, that makes such a difference in a small shower space. I can't remember exactly how much we paid for it, but I know it was less than $20 and it made a huge difference, huge, huge difference. Yup, you're seeing right, $2 and two cents. They were on clearance during the summer at Lowe's and y'all, I bought like five of them. <laughs> I was like, you get a light and you get a light. I don't, like this is a nice light. It's not like oh, the best light ever, but for $2 and two cents, it looks so much better than that little circle dome. So y'all for real, check your clearances. So these are pieces of wood that we're using to frame the mirror for the bathroom. So he just measured, cut them down to size, and is literally gonna make almost like a picture frame, and we are just gonna put it up on the mirror that's in place. We're not changing it, we're not taking it down, we're literally gonna pop that right on top of the mirror. So we needed to sand before we painted and what we ended up doing is actually sanding again a little bit after we painted just so that we could get a darker stain, but it really turns out very nicely. What home improvement plans are you guys planning on doing soon? Or what plans have you guys done already this year? Comment down below and let me know. We were working mostly in the basement this year. So we did finish the basement great room downstairs and you will see those videos probably in a couple of weeks or so. But we also did some other home improvement stuff. We did the laundry room, we did the patio. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing any of those home decor or home improvement videos, click on my playlist link for home and organization and you will see those videos. I will also link that in the description box of this video as well. This 
toilet tissue holder came from the bathroom and everything else was gonna be black. So I was like, well, it needs to be black as well. I didn't wanna go buy one because there's nothing wrong with this one and I already had the black spray paint. We decided to use a dark wood stain um, in an ebony-like color just so that we could still have a little bit of natural wood feeling to the room um, but still match with that black theme. I was able to stain it and then I had to come back stain it again. We did a little bit more sanding um, and actually stained it a third time because we wanted it super, super dark so that it almost looked completely black, but we like that color that way. But this is why I love the staining because you can make it as light as you want or you can make it as dark as you want. this really really cute Hobby Lobby shelf and it was 50% off and I liked it so much better than this one so I ended up picking it up but guys Hobby Lobby for those of you who know me and know that I am a shopper I'm always in Hobby Lobby literally but this week the Christmas finds are 70% off yes seven zero so if you need some Christmas stuff from Hobby Lobby run over there and grab it So some of you guys are going velcro kelly really yes that's what i told my husband i'm like velcro this velcro holds up to like five pounds and they have even stronger um ones as well which i had no clue for but we decided to velcro it then that way if we want to take it off and do something else to the mirror it's super easy to do but of course you can always glue it on as well a shopper but we also do some home improvement stuff and when I do do it I make sure I share it with you guys so if you like this kind of content and you're not yet subscribed be sure to click to subscribe so you can continue seeing all the stuff that we're doing and if you're enjoying this video be sure to give me a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot wash your hand sign came from target and i believe it's the magnolia it's from the magnolia line very very cute and 13.99 for both of the signs these came from ross yes and i love the colors Although I like the shower curtain, I wanted something different for Christmas um, and for the beginning of the year. So I did find this black and white one off of Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, how about a terrible joke? Okay, you ready? So, what do you call two monkeys that share an Amazon account? But of course, they're primates. <laughs> primates. love these little towels they came from target as well but the little print it looks like um the old-fashioned handles the hot and cold handles how cute right and that black and white fits perfectly So 
So this set of flowers, actually I stole from my laundry room. Well, I didn't steal, I shopped my home. <laughs> <laughs> I took it from the laundry room because it fit perfectly right here. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go out and buy anything. I'm going to work with what I have. And that's exactly what I did. And I was so excited. I was able to do what I needed to do. Love this candle, guys. Came from Target. It's like an apple cider scent. Oh, I love it. It smells so good and it's so very pretty. And this little basket was a Target dollar spot find. Yeah, it was $5. But I also purchased the matching basket. And then that way my daughter can put all of her hair stuff in there and it could house all of the things she needs, but still match that one. Yes, I'm feeling myself, feeling myself. <laughs> it came out so very nice, guys. And we did not spend a whole lot at all. So I am super excited about how this looks. Do I wanna do some more stuff to it? And is it my dream Pinterest bathroom? It is not, but it will definitely work for right now. And it looks so much better. $2.02 .02 for that light, right? hope this gave you guys some inspiration and some ideas to help you tackle those areas in your house that you haven't gotten to yet because a little goes like a very very long way right Thanks for hanging with us today. We had a really great time and I hope you did as well. Remember, if you like this kind of content and you're not yet subscribed, be sure to click to subscribe, like, and share. I'd love to have you here. I upload new videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. Be sure that your notifications are on so that you don't miss any of it. You can also follow me over on Instagram at kelly.all.day. I post every day over there. Thanks so much and have a great one.